Hey guys, welcome to... Hey guys, welcome to another video, and today I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different. I'm gonna be doing a review of the Toyota Celica. And what I'm basically gonna be doing is I'm gonna upgrade it to A-Class from its stock form, and then max it out. Alright, let's get straight into it. Off the bat, I wanna add that the stock Celica actually looks pretty good. And th just so you know, this is the ST-185. And let's just hear the sound. So overall, the car sounds pretty good, and it sounds better than the other Celica, which is basically just a copycat of another sound. I didn't get some audio with it, so I, did, I actually got the pure race. Next time, I'll promise to do a pure action, so that's good. Cool. And I will see you guys later. Goodbye.
figured out how to, you know, do some really intense editing. But anyway, enjoy this full-on A-class race, which I did an absolutely fucking amazing job of crap. Okay, see you later. Fiddling around under the hood? You know, you can share those specs. Let other drivers use them. Make even more of a name for yourself around here. What'd you say? We've seen how good of an A-class car it is. Let's just, you know, fully upgrade it to S2. You know. And I'm not actually going to be doing a race car uh, build because, you know, I don't want to. And yeah, it's a rally car. Sorry if the mic may sound a little loud. I'm just gonna put on Vimo's insane, insane rally kit you've seen. With the tire rack and all that, the, 
basically everything on it. The snorkel and everything so it can look as insane as possible. Yep. You sure as hell don't want to swap this pitch to reel drive. Let's just, you know, upgrade it to 1600 horsepower, but let's see how it drives after I tune it. Now, if you guys enjoy this video, can you please consider just sharing it with your friends? You, I'm okay if someone doesn't sub, but I, but I would like it if you did sub, because it would be a bit of a help to my channel in helping it grow past 500 or maybe 1,000 subs. It would be an absolute dream. Alright. Now let's just, now I'm going to do some epic tuning. Yeah, that's, that's about right. Now if you guys don't know how to tune that good, then you should maybe consider going on Hokey Hoshi's guides on how to tune cards. Sorry, I just have to check the auction outs. Okay. But now let's just, I don't know, choose like a random rally track thing and let's see how it drives. The straight off the bat, I can already tell you it's, it's gonna be insane. Alright, I'm gonna shut the fuck up and you can just listen or hear me rallying. Watch. So right off the bat, I can tell you this car is really difficult to drive. And I'm sure there's better tunes out there than mine, so I'm not going to share an S2 tune for those. Because there's plenty of other better ones that other people have created. Oh, there you go, I spinned up. This thing just spins its wheels, that's all it wants to do. Really good from a drifter's perspective. Ah, uh, I swear, every time I miss that influence sign. Backwards entry. Yeah, this thing's this thing is just screaming to be a drift car. So if you ever get the SD-185, and you want to put 1600 horsepower onto it, I think I'd totally recommend making it into a drift car. Alright, let's see how it races. Gone to is Lakers, and just so I'm not a faker, it was 75% bonus, and I'm just going to quickly go over what settings I have. Alright, let's get started. I guarantee you I'm not going to beat the unbeatable AI. All right, let's do this. I can already tell you, I have way more horsepower than the other cars. Oh, I just prefer not to have uh, liveries on my car. But there's some awesome Toyota racing liveries up on the, that the community that was nice enough to create. Now this thing actually has pretty good control. Like, I'm trying to do my best, and I it's kind of paying out. Yeah, I am overtaking them, but it's like, it just spins its wheels a lot, and that's what makes it difficult. And as soon as that turbo comes on, it's like, you immediately know you are above the AI, and you are above every person who just comes into your path, because that happens, and you can just fly past them. This is actually one of my favorite sections of any rally race. Sorry if I may be accidentally ramming the AI. I don't actually mean to do that. I'm not a rammer and I don't endorse it. 
Like, no, this wasn't as difficult as I was thinking it would be to control, but it kind of is easy. I, I'm not gonna catch that goon again. Maybe after I work hard enough, maybe. It's a small possibility. I'm just gonna go full throttle back. Nope. It came second, though, out of unbeatable AI, which I find... Never mind! So, I'm just gonna... That's S1. I think I'm gonna prove my point that SD rally cars aren't good. Alright, let's just get past this, whatever. So, what have we learned here? The Toyota Celica SD-185 is a good car. And unlike the previous Celica, it had it had it has the two taste swap, which basically renders it totally better. And it's and it's one of the and it actually has a really rich and good racing history behind it. So if you ever want to get the festival playlist, I'm gonna make a video on how to do that if you need it. Just do the three seasonal PR stunts, one seasonal event, and the monthly arrivals, and just get Series 22. It's that easy. And if you want to go for the Jeep Wrangler, we're going to do that. Spring, I'm actually going to, I'm going to cover the Nissan Pulsar, or the Peugeot 205R. So, until then, I'll see you into another video. Ciao, ciao. In my opinion, I think it's one of the best A800 rally cars, say, and that's why I just shared a tune. I think someone else can do a be better tune than me because I'm not that much of a tuner. Anyway, if you want to know how to complete this, just go into the festival playlist and complete 50%. I recommend go doing the three seasonal PR stunts. Go ahead and grab the Starion. And go ahead into the monthly arrivals and the online adventure. It shouldn't be that hard. And then in the spring, I may cover either the Nissan Pulsar GTI or the Persia 205R. Anyway, I hope you guys have an absolutely wonderful day. And I will see you guys in the next car review. See ya!